Hello, hello, Clock Jordan Circus Club, and welcome all and sundry. This is Diablo with me, Grant Goldie. This week is starts and stops. Every time you play Diablo, you start and you stop, so you may as well make them look good. We'll start with throw-ins. Look at these different grips of the Diablo, and make sure that when you throw them, they land near your main side, near your main hand handstick, so that you can catch them and they will roll down the string a little towards your other hand to help give them some extra spin. You can pretty much do all the same kind of throws, but with the Diablo sat on the string already. Make sure you know which hand stick is which, so as when you take it in the hand that spun the Diablo, you don't end up with a twisted or crossed string. Unless that's what you need for the next part of your trick. This is a great one. Hold your Diablo like this, or this, and swing your hand stick round from your other hand so as the string will come up under the Diablo and go round the Diablo about one and a quarter rotations. And just as the handstick is coming up on the outside, spin your Diablo, let go, and catch the handstick. You'll be straight into a wrapped speed up. The hook throw is done mostly from a hook catch. Uh, the Diablo is trapped in between the arm and the handstick, and whichever hand it is in, the hand moves up on the main side from bottom to top, and then flex the wrist so as the Diablo is let go on the way up. After a little practice, this will give enough spin for a catch and even some tricks. Stops. Okay, this is the hook catch, uh, and the slower it is going, the better, as long as it's steady. You'll find, depending on how you make the catch and with which hand you make it, it will be either harder or easier, as the Diablo is either rolling towards you or away from you. A very simple catch is often very nice, and then you can style it out in your own way. As is a swing to catch, if both hand sticks are in the same hand, say after a whip catch, as the Diablo just swings round, give a little snap with the wrists, and it will come straight back into the V. But you can do it almost from anywhere. And we will finish with two magic knots. One, the simple knot. Throw it to anywhere and catch it. A hook catch, or a whip catch, or an elbow catch, kind of anything really. The main point is not to throw it too high, as otherwise it will be moving really fast when it comes back down and it's time to catch it. Whenever I do something like this, it rarely goes above the height of my head. And a mega knot. Hmm, this is the basic knot. Um, and then remembering that all we are doing is putting the string over the handstick, under the Diablo, over the other handstick, and returning back under the Diablo in the opposite direction. You've just put string under the Diablo and then taken the string straight back off again. So you're just straight back into a normal knot. You could do this until you run out of string or your Diablo stops spinning. So that's a few starts and stops. It's quite nice to pair the starts and stops. That makes for efficient practice. And when you have a working pair, try and do a little speeding up in between as possible. So as you go straight from the start to the stop. And as soon as you have more than one matching pair, switch them up. It's always good to have a plan when training. Decide what you're going to work on and give it some focus and time but move on before too much frustration sets in and come back when you're more relaxed again. Always have a playtime too, with nothing in particular in mind. That's when I find myself getting the most creative. Enjoy. Bye.